Alright, so hi guys, Caleb here at KB Productions, and for today's video, I have a review, a Mega Construction review. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So today's review is of the Mega Constructs Halo 20th Anniversary Pack. So this is for the 20th anniversary of, of Halo. Yeah, Halo. Halo's been out for 20 years now. Uh, the set was originally released back December 2021, 2021, I'm pretty sure. Um, unfortunately, it was, it, it released on Amazon, and this is an Amazon exclusive set. Uh, it was released for, it was barely even out for a day before it sold out, and they've barely restocked it since then. Uh, they finally restocked it here, uh, midway through 2022. Um, so, I was able to get my hands on one because I didn't want to buy pay scalper prices because scalpers are insanely high. I don't like scalpers. Um, so I was able to get my hands on this uh, 53 USD. Uh, so I don't know if that is in any other country. So 53 US dollars. It's the retail price here. So let's get into the review. Put the camera down. First, we'll start off with the golden figures you get in the set. You get five gold figures and then 15 regular figures. First figure here is Atriox. Now, this is my first ever Atriox. I do not have any other version of Atriox. This gold is... Give me one second. Alright. Short pause there. Um, this gold is different than any other gold from... That Mega Construction has produced, uh, it's just a different colored gold. Um, now I brought out this, uh, as my, uh, the other gold chief that they produced a little while ago. Now, as you can see, the colors are much different. This is all very much more consistently one color. These, these figures in this series have a bunch of different kind of goldish colors. So some uh, pieces will be darker than the others. So like the head for Atriox is darker than the chest and shoulder pads and leg armor. This is much more lighter, his little Warhammer thing. And it's it's weird how they did it this year. Or this year how they how they made these gold figures. Next we get Agent Lock. Um, we've had Agent Lock before. I haven't gotten Agent Lock because I really don't really don't care for him. Um, because Halo 5 is definitely not my favorite game, game series, so, yeah. Uh, but Locke, he's, same story with him, you know, the different kind of colored, uh, armor. We didn't get Hunter shoulder pads, which is weird, because his armor type is the Hunter, um, the Hunter armor type in Halo 5. Um, and they have a specific pair of shoulder pads, Hunter shoulder pads, and we've gotten them, I'm fairly certain we got them with the other uh locks but not this one for some reason so it's it's weird um yeah like i said different coloring armor it looks these these figures look kind of weird in terms of their gold now i have this figure this is the arbiter and i have a uh version to compare so this is the uh arbiter from warthog run the warthog run set for the for when it came out it was for the 10 year anniversary for halo 3 yeah 10 year anniversary for halo 3 so um i have two of them i got another one over here but uh this arbiter is much more goldish he looks like he's actually gold compared to these guys these guys look kind of palish like a pale yellow and it's weird and i don't i don't really have a super positive opinion about these figures the gold figures in this series at least but they're decent you know same same exact same pieces as that arbiter um yeah except the hands they have the new elite hands that they're using which is good i like the new elite hands next we are moving on to the cortana one of two cortanas so this cortana is gold but it's much more yellow yellow gold compared to the other ones the gold on her body's yellow 
it is the exact same mold and style as the or not same style but the same mold as this is the halo one cortana that came in oh, crud um i think halo hero is one of the halo heroes she was there yeah i think halo hero series nine is when i when she was released um same mold just um gold obviously but some of the detailing on her seems to be based more off of Halo 5, maybe? Halo 3 to 4. Anywhere from Halo 3 to 5. Because this is the Halo uh, CE Cortana. The way this one's kind of marked and stuff. I think that's Halo, Halo 3 to Halo 5 Cortana, I think. Next is the uh, Halo Infinite Master Chief. So... I will bring this guy out to compare. Obviously, these comparisons aren't going to be, you know, the best because they're two complete different colors. This gold is definitely, I probably like him the most out of the whole series, or out of the whole group of five that we get in this set. Um, there isn't as many, like, this Master Chief has a bunch of silvering details on him. This Master Chief is just gold. Still has the 117 on his chest. Still all around a pretty decent figure. Next is Spartan Jerome. Um, this is one of the other figures I actually have uh, to compare. So the Jerome, this series, is much... There is a lighter, a little bit of a lighter green. Um, some of the details are definitely a little different. Um... That stripe on his chest, it is not as big. Or the numbers, or the little red dot next to said numbers, they're definitely not as big as this Jerome. This Jerome came... Oh, crud, when did I get him? He might have been Halo Heroes. I don't know for sure. I don't know for certain. Um, I can't remember where, I, where this drone came from. Uh, the shoulder insignia is smaller on this Jerome than it is this one. But all around, it's still a really good figure. I still really like this Jerome. Uh, yeah, they're both they're both amazing figures, and I will say this Jerome is definitely really good. Next is the Heretic from Halo Two. I also have one of him to compare with. Um. Don't have any weapons on this one. These guys, most of these guys I don't actually have weapons with. Only a couple of them. Uh, so this heretic we get in the series is a much lighter orangish, maybe like a kind of orangish red, I would say. Not really orangish red. It's definitely a lighter red than this this uh, heretic. Um, the back pieces, these are more purple. These are more of a silverish, like a purplish gray, silver, like a silver silvered purplish gray kind of um one thing i do like more about this series uh heretic is on the eye pe or on the uh face piece there are actually eyes on that and in the this is the halo heroes version there are no eye pieces so it's this one's definitely has a little bit better detailing than the uh halo heroes version next we have the prophet of Dude, is this regret? I think it is. Yeah, this is regret. Because this is mercy. I have mercy right here. The prophet of mercy. So, um. Wait a second. Yeah, prophet of regret. I had to make sure. <laughs> I can't remember which prophet it was. Um, prophet of regret and prophet of mercy are very similar. Obviously, they have the same molds besides the the headdress piece besides a kind of head crown um this one its eyes has definitely more detail than this one there's no pupil in this figures they have different helmets or headdresses obviously that's how it is in the game um now all i need really is a prophet of uh, truth <laughs> and then i'll be good i have an extra prophet of a mercy so i could make a custom truth but yeah but anyways um Pretty nice figure. It's 
not really different than this one. They do have the little two, uh, two-handed figure design. So, yeah, just like the new Elites. So, yeah. This character, these next two, I do not have uh, comparisons for. So, this one is Miranda Keys. Finally got a Miranda Keys figure, which is really nice. I do really like Miranda Keys. Um, uh, so, she's... This is the uniform of her and her Navy Admiral, I guess. Or she is Navy Captain. Um... Really interesting. Now, on her, on her, if it'll focus, it might not. It does say keys, that little black, right, right there. It says keys, which that's a really cool detail. And she has a metal, looks like, like she does in the game. Um, in real life, uh, I like the that detailing of the three um, service stripes. Now, in real life, uh, U.S. Army, that is one stripe equals three years. I'm th I think it's either three or four years. I think Marines one stripe is four years, Army one stripe is three years. So Army, this would be she has nine years of service. So that's pretty cool. Next is Ratus Vadum, the shipmaster. Um, I'm really glad we got this figure. I wanted Arat Aratas Vadum for a while, Shipmaster. Um, obviously, new elite hand designs. Uh, he even has his own custom mold with his, you know, missing mandible and his helmet that is missing that side because of his missing mandible, because that's how he is in game, obviously. So yeah, um, overall nice figure. Uh, you get a purple energy sword with him, which is really interesting. I wouldn't think it'd be a purple energy sword. Uh, this figure I did have problems with, so I had to switch the arms. Because this hand, this is the right arm, technically. But it doesn't hold an energy sword well. It kind of just comes off real easily. This hand actually holds the energy sword in place. So I switched them around. So a couple of these figures will have little defects like that. They're just, just how it is. Um, and if anything, I can replace them with parts from a different figure. Um, this, I do have a, uh, comparison for him. Uh, Emil. So Spartan Emil, here. And this is the Halo Hero Series 9 Emil. So, in terms of detailing, this one's shotgun shells. I much prefer that, or prefer, prefer that, um, uh, that more goldish brass look than the silverish brass look of these. Um, but one thing about him, this uh, the Series 9 Emil, the helmet skull is much bigger and much more detailed than this uh, Emil. This one, yeah. Um, and his Kukri, Emil's Kukri, the knife, is actually gold, a gold handle. With a dark, dark uh, gray knife. That's a Series 9. This one, this is just like a plain gray kukri. Nothing too interesting. Uh, all the details, like shoulder pad details, are pretty much the same on each figure. So, yeah. Next is Spartan Carter. This is one of the other figures I have problems with. I only actually had two figures in this, in this series I had problems with, I'm pretty sure. Which is good. So, um, yeah, this figure's hands are messed up, but the good news is I have a bunch of extra silver Spartans, so I'm just going to swap out that silver arm piece. Uh, so his hands, I hate, uh, Mega Shrek figures like that. Oh yeah, they both, <laughs> they both just came off. Okay. But yeah, I don't like Mega Shrek figures like that because their hands, I love Mega Shrek figures, don't get me wrong. But their hands fall off way too easily. Or like when you get them off, they're really confusing and really hard to get back on. Because like, half the time I just don't want to go back in. Hey, that hand I actually... Hey, wait, I actually fixed this hand over here, this right hand. This left hand, though, is being a pain. And won't fix. Eh, well. 
Looks like I won't have to change them out. I'm used to having figures with their left hand being loose and their right hand being perfectly fine. So I don't have a different another Carter. This is my first Carter that I will have. Um, I really like this figure. He has really nice detailing. Uh, he has the little red piece there. Um, he gets like the Halo 5 DMR mold, which I really don't like. I wish they would have gave him like the other DMR mold that they have. Um, really isn't else much to say about this figure other than he's a nice figure. Definitely if you don't have a Carter, it's definitely good. Next, this is the main reason I got this set. ODST Mickey. So, if you didn't know, the Mickey, Mickey as a figure is really hard to come by because the only set he came in was a Toys R Us exclusive back during the time of Toys R Us, not shutting, I think there right before it was shutting down, I think. So I don't have, I don't have the other Mickey to compare this to, unfortunately, but I will say this does look really, really good for an ODST figure. Obviously, he gets a Spanker rocket launcher. Um, he has a UNSC logo on his chest, the red stripe down his helmet, and the red stripe on this shoulder pad. I don't know if I've ever seen this up, shoulder, whatever, um, armor design. I don't know if I ever have. Um, kind of weird. And then he gets one of these styles of backpacks. This is actually surprisingly my first one of these I've ever gotten, which will definitely change with the new, um, ODST Hive Exterminator set coming out. So, yeah. Anyways, there's that. This make this figure is the main reason I got this set, so I can. The two reasons they got this set was for the uh, Carter and Mickey, so I can complete Noble Six and Alpha Nine. Uh, now for both, I only need one figure. Luckily for Noble Six, uh, or for not Noble Six for Noble Squad, um, uh, the last figure I need is pretty simple to get. Unfortunately, the only figure I need for Alpha Nine is really expensive, so I won't be getting him anytime soon. All I need is Buck, and he is really expensive. Next is Dare. Which she is actually a figure I have to compare. Yeah, that rhymes. Okay. So, Dare. This is Halo Hero Series 8. Dare, I'm fairly certain. And then this is this Dare from this set. So this set automatically definitely wins in terms of detail. Because there's definitely there's more detailing on that chest piece with the uh I don't even know what that is. Oh, it has her name and the UNSC logo on her chest plate, and then a name, the na her name on her helmet. This dare does not have any of that on her helmet or chest uh, armor piece, but she does have the two heads, so you can inter inter swap them. And this one has the finger gloves, like uh, some of the other ODSTs. So yeah, but I do like prefer that one for the detailing. I'll probably just use the her head, this head, on that figure. So, yeah. Uh, next is, those are the Halo 3 ODST figures. Next I have, wait, give me a second, I, I dropped the dare. Let me put her back on her stand. I dropped the dare. Yeah, next is uh, Halo 4, 5, Halo 4 or 5 figures. So this is Linda. So I grabbed the wrong Linda, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, that's like the Halo 5 Linda. I'll get the better Linda right here I have. I have a better version of Linda. Now, unfortunately, this Linda you get in the series does not have her nice sniper rifle that uh, the other two have. So, uh, this is Linda from the series. This is Linda, or from the set, this is Linda from the... Oh, shoot, I wasn't up far enough. I forgot. This is the Linda from this set. This is the Linda from the Blue Team set. I do have the Blue Team set. It's a pretty nice set. So, this Linda, automatically way less detailed than this one. If you have this set, this Linda's not worth it. You know, she's not that good. But if you don't have this set, this is a good Linda. Um, I have the Halo Infinite Linda. But I'm just not going to compare her because she looks awful compared to these two. The only thing is, these two have the same, the Infinite and this Linda, they have the same sniper rifle, that same style of sniper rifle. This one did not get her custom sniper rifle. So yeah, uh, she's a good figure though, nonetheless, if you don't have one. Next, uh, Halo 4, Halo 5, Master Chief. Now this is honestly not my favorite figure. 
from the set, I will say that. But he is a really nice figure. And here's my, the blue team Master Chief I have. So, yeah. Um, this, or um, I'm going to say this is the Halo 5 Master Chief because, or Halo 4 Master Chief because he doesn't have the cracked helmet that the Halo, well, that's Halo 5 Chief. This is from Halo 5, but he doesn't have a cracked helmet. So, I guess early game Halo 5. Um, this one has a sticky detonator, and this one has an assault rifle. This one, you can tell it has much more silvering details, but that's how all the figures from the blue team set is. So, yeah, this figure is just a plain green, which I really like this figure. Honestly, I like him better than this one. So, that's all the figures I have for comparison. Now, just on the last two are going to be regular reviews. This is probably the least interesting figure of the set, Mr. Chief. Honestly... I like the figure, but it would have been interesting to get a better named figure or something other than Mr. Chief. Uh, you get this blue assault rifle. He's in the style of these little figures. Um, get This is a clone trooper I have sitting on my desk. Uh, these figures are the same size as Lego figures, pretty much. Just a little bit taller, only slightly taller, but yeah. Yeah, he's not all that interesting. Uh, actually, right here I have a different... Actually, I do have a figure to compare to this one. These are the these are the little military figures from the tank set, the Mega Constructs. I think it's just called Tank Tank or Main Battle Tank or something. Uh, the same like style of pieces. Only this one is is Mr. Chief taller. Let me try. Let me get that on there. Oh wow, Mr. Chief! But that his head is super big. So the rest of the figures. The rest of the figure is the same size. No, his leg pieces are different. They seem to be... No. No, they're the same size both ways. But his head is what makes him taller. So, yeah. Anyways, he's the least interesting figure. Now, when I come to the figure with the most accessories, actually, out of this set. Out, uh, yeah, out of this set. And that is Sergeant Johnson. He has three or two extra pieces that he comes with so this is the halo one uh, sergeant johnson obviously but he comes with a 343 guilty spark and then a halo one cortana a little the small cortana mold nothing too interesting nothing we haven't seen before we've gotten both these things before but johnson am i glad to finally have a johnson uh if you didn't know johnson is a really hard figure to find any of the versions of johnson are really really expensive uh, it's glad this one came with a Johnson, but it's the Halo 1 Johnson. But I did have a couple ideas of just switching the head out and putting it on a Halo 3 Marine body. It would be as simple to get a Halo 3 Johnson. Uh, the body is just a regular CE Marine body, but the head is obviously Johnson's head. A lot of people I know had defects with their Johnson. My Johnson is actually printed nicely, so yeah. Anyways, that is the review of this set on a scale of one to 10. I would rate this set a seven. I'd rate it a seven out of 10. Fair, a lot of people probably won't agree with that, uh, you know, that ranking, but I'm okay with it because it's definitely not the most interesting set. But it is a good set nonetheless. Uh, you get all you get some really, really nice figures with this set. So I'm okay with it. Uh, so it's worth it getting the couple figures that you need. Because some of these figures are way stupidly expensive. If you try to buy them on their own, they cost way more than this set. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.